All right, y'all, so this is my skin this month. Remember I said I was gonna put it side by side with our video from June so that you can see if I have certain blemishes in the same spot, what my hydration is looking like, if certain scars are still there. Um, just a nice, you know, comparison from month to month. Now, cue the music, let's do the little comparison. is my skin this is my July 1st skin check um, yeah this is what we're working with I feel like the hyperpigmentation on my cheeks is getting great you know like now you can actually see more of a difference between the marks whereas before there were so many of them that it just sort of looked like one big splotch over here yeah so now the hyperpigmentation I do feel like it's starting to separate and dissipate and all that good stuff the ones on my forehead, I just have like a few small ones left there that are kind of stubborn to get rid of, but working on it. And then these over here, they haven't been getting too much lighter than they were before, but I feel like we're getting there with those two. Remember I got that mosquito bite in Miami and it, yeah, it just left a scar because those mosquitoes tore me up. Oh, and I also got my brow scented, which is why it looks like I have brow makeup on already. Um, I filmed a whole separate video about this for you guys. So if you're curious, it's not going to be in this video. It's going to be its whole separate thing because I wanted to get the process and be able to have a dedicated space to answer any questions about it that you have. So that is why it looks like I have brow makeup on. But this is literally woke up like this. A skin in progress for the month. Um, but yes, I'm going to get into the routine that I used from last month to this month and how I got to this space, this face here. After I cleansed my face is when I was going in with my Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta pads here. Um, and what these are is a universal daily peel that will help to exfoliate the skin, get rid of texture. It also claims to help with anti-aging, toning down breakouts. Any type of hyperpigmentation on the skin you can think of, these have an ingredient in it that claims to help with that. So what I did the past two weeks, in case you didn't see my other skin check video, the very first one, um, I was using this for two weeks straight. My first things that I was skeptical about using this for two weeks straight, I was afraid of drying out my skin by accident. I was afraid of so many different AHAs and BHAs at once every single night would be irritating for my skin. I was afraid that I would make breakouts worse because I'm not someone who usually exfoliates more than once a week. So I was definitely like, I had my fears. I had my fears. But I found that by pairing these pads with very hydrating, gentle ingredients, and by making sure I don't skip this second part of the instructions for using this, my results were everything they claimed that it was gonna be. So. When you open this package, it sort of looks like a little makeup wipe, but smaller. So the instructions just say to rub it on your skin until you feel like there's no more liquid on it. Go over to the next step, repeat, and then you are done and free to continue with the rest of your routine. Of course, they recommend using a full Dr. Dennis Gross regimen, but for me and my purpose for trying these pads, I really wanted to keep the rest of my routine the absolute same so that I would be able to let you guys know whether or not these are worth buying if you're not going to use a whole entire Dr. Dennis Gross skincare routine. So I actually have quite a few different brands that I was using along with these alpha beta pads, which I will give you the details of right now. So my routine for the past month to wash my face, I was using the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. That is my first cleanse. I use it to dissolve my makeup. I use it to just break down any dirt, oil, sunscreen, anything that was on my face. If I didn't wear any makeup that day, then that would be my only cleanse. But if I did, I would go in with a second cleanse afterwards, which is the Tatcha Rice Cleanser. When I tell you I love the texture of that cleanser, it is so good, so good. I would either go in with that or my Youth to the People Superfood Cleanser. Very bare bones, that's like a super basic, nice, gentle, safe for sensitive skin, safe for skin going through a breakout type of cleanser. So I would use one of those two as my water-based cleanse after the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. 
Also, recently saw a video where Hailey Bieber mentioned using the Squalling Cleanser as her first cleanse as well. So, in case you trust celebrity opinions more than people who know what they're talking about, mm -hmm. then just know Squalling Cleanser is that girl. She's well known. She does what she needs to do. Gentle, no scent, nice texture, literally less than $10. Chef's kiss, love that one. After I did this, I would follow up with my Snail Mucin Essence by CauseRx. This, obviously the main ingredient is Snail Mucin, very hydrating, anti-inflammatory, great for irritation, redness, acne prone skin. This is just one of the most universal toner slash essences you can use. So I would definitely go in with this. After that, I would follow up with my Hydration Serum by Nia. This is the Multi Molecular Hyaluronic Complex which is just a hyaluronic acid serum, another one that is solely for hydration, nothing else. After that, I would still go in with my um, A1 Day 1 Hyperpigmentation Serum, which is Neod Repigment. I really don't even need to say any more about this. This is a hyperpigmentation serum that does not have any bleaching agents, no hydroquinone, no AHAs or BHAs. It is just a peptide serum that helps to reduce hyperpigmentation and calm down your melanocytes, which are the skin cells responsible for dark spots and pigment. So by using this with the alpha beta pads, I did not have to worry about any type of reaction because this is not an exfoliating type of dark spot treatment. It is just a serum that's going to hydrate and help your skin to cut back on hyperpigmentation without stripping it. After those three, I would go in with the Ordinary Squalane, which is a super lightweight, non-comedogenic oil, meaning that it is incapable of clogging my pores no matter how much of it I put on. And the texture is super lightweight. So I like that because I was able to do all of these steps, still put on this little bit of facial oil. And I think that that even more so helped with the, that soothing feeling that the step number two of the Dr. Dennis Gross pads gave me. Then I would just choose what moisturizer I wanted to use that night. Didn't use the same one every night. Sometimes it was Cosrx Snail Mucin Cream. Sometimes it was my Pharmacy Honey Halo. Sometimes it was this brand new moisturizer that I cannot tell you guys about yet that I've been trying out the past few days. Um, so I, the moisturizer I think doesn't matter when it comes to incorporating the Dr. Dennis Gross pads into your routine. Things I noticed on the very first night that I used it is that um, it does have a little bit of a strong smell. I guess because of all of the ingredients and active ingredients that are in here. There's lactic acid, glycolic acid, citric acid, salicylic acid. Plenty of different AHAs that are not only going to dissolve dead skin cells from the surface of my skin, but also decongest the pores as well. Um, so first thing, of course, it has a little bit of a chemically smell because it is full of AHAs and BHAs that are going to help your skin. The second thing I noticed is that it was not as drying or stripping as I thought that they would be. I was really pleasantly surprised by that because these aren't even the gentle version of the pads that I bought. This is actually just the universal kind. They also offer a more gentle version than these that come in the orange pack and a stronger version which come in the red box. I bought the orange box. After the first three days of use in a row, I noticed that my skin, when I tell you had zero texture, I'm talking not a single dry patch, not a single rough area. My chin wasn't congested. The pores on my nose did not look like they were full of excess oil and sebum. My forehead, smooth as ever. Like, even the areas of my skin that did have acne at the time that I was using it, like my cheeks, you guys know that breakout I was having, even around the acne was like smooth like a baby's bottom. So I know that for sure this definitely delivers on the getting rid of texture claim. That I noticed like before I was even halfway through one week of the challenge. So definitely texture improved. I did notice that if I waited too long to go in with my step two, of the process then my skin did start to feel a little bit tight so i recommend after you do the step number one which is exfoliating and smoothing you promptly go in with step number two the anti-aging neutralizer and what i found with using all of these products together is that even though i did not have a full dr dennis gross skincare routine the results were still everything that they promised 
So I used it for a week straight, just as they instructed. And when I got to the halfway point of my two week challenge, I did not use the pads for four days. I continued with the rest of my routine for those four days that I took a break and then I hopped back into it for another week. What I noticed at the end of the second week was that hyperpigmentation that I showed you guys at the beginning of June was starting to fade a lot quicker, I think, than it would have faded if I had solely just continued with the rest of my routine for the entire 30 days. I think that the way I'm gonna start incorporating these daily pads into my routine moving forward is, this is not gonna be the type of product that I buy a whole new box of every single month. I think that one box of these, which comes with a 30 days worth, will actually last me about two to three months because I think I want to use these on a one week at a time basis and then continue with the rest of my routine. And when I find that I'm in need of just like a skin reset as far as texture, hyperpigmentation, brightness, and all of that goes, then I can dive into these for a whole nother week straight, reap the benefits, and continue on. So that's how I plan on using these moving forward. I will not be using them every single day because like I said, I was never a fan of exfoliating my face every single day. If you try this challenge, you might find that using it every day for a month straight gives you like the skin you have always wanted. But for me, I think I really cracked the code about how to get the best benefits of it for my skin. And you guys can see now, like right now I only have on tinted moisturizer, some blush and my eyeliner. And I feel like my skin is glowing in a way that it usually wouldn't if I had like a little bit of texture going on or if my hyperpigmentation was so dark that it was peeking through my makeup. Um, which does happen sometimes. So I think that that was just like a amazing reset for my skin and that's how I'm gonna continue using it from now on. So that's what I plan on doing for that. And you guys saw the comparison of my skin from June to July. And I will catch you guys on August 1st so that I can give you even more updates about my skin, what products I'm gonna use in July. You will hear all about that next month because I have some new products that I will be incorporating that I can't talk about yet so when it is time to show you guys my skin next month I'll let you know what I've actually been using and what I recently reviewed that has made its way into my daily routine. If you enjoyed this video, if you love the concept of this skin check series here on Find Beauty Bible, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you come back for more content, not only for close-ups of my face, but also we do vlogs, we do beauty reviews, I review pretty much every single product that you guys request. I do giveaways for my frequent commenters, people that post me on their Instagram story, I a lot of times like send them a little DM like, hey, thanks for sharing my channel, I want to send you some beauty product. So just, you know, it, it really pays to be a part of this community here. Just a whole bunch of beauty lovers in one place and what more could you ask for? So I will catch you guys next week for another video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe right now before the ending credits of this video even rolls. And um, yeah, thanks for watching Fine Beauty Bible. Bye.